out into the universe, one of the most interesting things is the, the, the phenomenal power of the, the stars, the, the, the explosions that we're seeing, uh, huge galaxies, all that sort of stuff can make you feel very, very small, but it gives you that wonderful playground to explore. I think it's, I find it really inspiring, it, it, you know, possibly a little bit scary as well. You can just get lost in something that's a bigger scale uh, than yourself. Each year, the Royal Observatory Greenwich hosts the Astronomy Photographer of the Year competition. The best astrophotographers in the world send in their best images. When you're judging uh, the entrance, uh, it, it's a pretty tricky thing actually because there's lots of different things that people are looking for. You know, really, what's the, what's the small dividing point uh, that makes something not just good but absolutely great? So we've got things that you might think of as more commonplace, like uh, the moon, but you're going to see that in amazing detail and you know really close up. We've got planets, we've got the sun, we've got other stars, we've got other galaxies, we've got nebulae. We, you know, in some sense, have the whole universe to play with. One thing that I absolutely loved as soon as I saw it was uh, the Helix Nebula image uh, by Wei Tang Liang. Um, this is a planetary nebula. It's sort of a, a preview of the fate of our own sun. Low mass, intermediate mass stars puff off their outer layers uh, as they come to the end of their life and the inner layers collapse down. An amazing moon image that we've got is the uh, International Space Station Transiting Tranquility Base by Andrew McCarthy. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm also in a spaceship looking down as I sort of move towards the lunar surface. The overall winner of the Astronomy Photographer of the Year 14 competition was Disconnection Event. This is a picture, an amazing picture of Comet Leonard. It's a picture taken on Christmas Day uh, from Namibia. The, the photographer managed to capture uh, a piece of the comet basically coming off and sort of uh, disconnecting from the main uh, tail. It's a sort of phenomenal picture anyway. I mean, it really is, I think, one of the, the world's best comet pictures ever, but also even within that, there's sort of lots of interesting things, I think, to, to have a little look at. When you come to it uh, sort of as a scientist, you tend to learn about astronomy in quite theoretical ways. You do end up doing a lot of maths and things like that, and that's interesting in itself, uh, but it's really nice to see these things put in front of you in a, in a really visually interesting way, a thing that just captures your attention immediately. Stuff that you've only studied before sort of comes alive in front of you.